welcome back to the Toronto Website Developer.com. I am P.D. Worski, the Toronto Website Developer specializing in Drupal. And in this third video tutorial on the Heartbeat module, I'm going to show you how we can take this Heartbeat activity that we created, this kind of river of news, and make it a little bit nicer. Right now, it kind of looks like crap, to be honest. Uh, this is just the message that's being displayed by Heartbeat module itself. But I'd like to change this up and make it a little bit nicer, maybe something along the lines of, let's say, so that's easy to do, and I'm going to walk you through that. Before we do that, I've got a big favor to ask. If this video tutorial helps you, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. All three of those metrics are something that I look at to make sure that uh, you know my videos are accurate um, and that they're helping people. So getting that feedback from you, I, I think, is you know doesn't take a lot of time, but it really helps me make sure that these videos are on track and doing the right thing. So that said, let's get started. Previous video tutorial, you remember we did this in views, we created the heartbeat activity. So first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to head over to drupal.org slash project slash ds. And this is the display suite. This module is really, really cool. Uh, it's something that I had actually stayed away from just because I wasn't sure about mixing up my, uh, you know, CSS display template files into my actual site and controlling that um, and staying away from Drupal, uh, Drupal's templating system. So I, I never really got into this module until I started using Heartbeat, and the module itself is awesome. I highly recommend it. It's only dependent upon Chaos Tools. So we're going to go ahead and grab the 7.x-2.4 version at the time of recording this. And just like all other modules, you're going to head over to Install New Module. I'm using the Admin Module. That's why I've got this drag down. Uh, and I think I'm using the site System Manager or something along those lines. It's a core module that uh, provides uh, you know, update status and also allows you to install a new module. So go ahead, grab that, paste in there. You're gonna install that. I've already got it done. Once you do that, again, I've got module filter listed here or, or enabled, and that's why I can just choose display suite and only see what I've got enabled. I've enabled the actual module for display suite itself, and then I've got display suite UI. I've got both of those checked off. You're gonna to wanna to do the same. So with those checked off, now what we can do is head back over to structure, heartbeat, and we're going to go into Heartbeat Templates. And if you remember, we looked at this previously, and what we did here was we set up uh, our content. So username has added node, uh, node title, and that's our actual message here. Now, the nice thing about um, Heartbeat is it uh, you know, integrates with uh, Manage Fields, Manage Display here uh, as entities. Uh, I believe this is entities. If I'm not, leave a comment, let me know. But we can go into Manage Display here, and we can actually change all of these fields. So right now, you can see here layout for node is added in default. Um, this is our, you know, our, our template that we created and node is being added. Um, but you'll see here, we, all we've got is this one column and we can drag and drop, which is rendered first on a heartbeat message, but it's kind of crappy. Enter display suite. I can go to select layout here and I can choose one of these different layouts. So you see, I can choose a one column, two column, a fluid but Heartbeat actually provides this template with left, right for activity. So I'm going to save this. And now what I get is I get this left region, I get this content region, and I get this footer. And don't actually get a, a preview here of what I'm talking about, but you're going to go ahead and trust me. And what we're going to do is we're going to get, we'll add the time into our footer. We will add, uh, we'll take out the attachments because we don't have any attachments. Our avatar will go into our left, that's fine. It'll stay with our username. Our message, which is the actual message, you know, this user has created this piece of content, will go into content. And then our buttons will go after the time. And then we will just go ahead and we will save this. So one thing I forgot to show you was what we didn't do in the previous video tutorial and what I've done now is I've gone into uh, attachments and I've gone ahead and I've enabled the flag like button and heartbeat comments. So I've, I've checked those both off um, and I've gone ahead and I've saved that. So you'll see that when we actually make this change. Now, if I go back to heartbeat activity, you'll notice I haven't changed my view, so it's still gonna look pretty crappy. So if I go to edit view here, you'll see that we're actually pulling in fields and we're just pulling in the heartbeat activity message. So what we wanna do is change this to heartbeat activity and hit apply. And we're going to use our full activity message. That's the, um, the view that we set up with display suite. And we'll display the links. That's fine. And we can choose the display comments, but I'm just leaving it off for now. And we'll apply this. Now, when I go ahead and save this, it's going to take me back to my heartbeat. And you'll notice here I've got the username. I would have an avatar picture, but I don't actually have set up for uh, any avatar pictures set up for these users. But I get a nice message here of what's actually going on. And then I get 
uh, a timeline of when this happened. I have the ability to delete this because I have that permission. And then I can like this and I can add a comment. Now this is starting to look a little bit nicer. You could take some CSS, add this in to space these things out, and you've got a nice looking heartbeat activity thread. Um, that's pretty much it. I know this video tutorial was short. The next one will be coming up uh, you know, within a couple days. And what I'm gonna show you there is how you can take this heartbeat activity uh, stream and just apply it so that you only see what your friends have done on the site. And to do that, we're gonna use flag friend. I'm gonna walk you through that. Uh, so again, if this video tutorial helped you, please leave a comment, let me know, and we'll see you for the next video tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.